Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. Remember this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that information down below. So what's going on with Virgo and their person? What is passing them? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. What is this person's energy towards Virgo? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And what is Virgo's energy towards their person? Ooh, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. What is the external influence on this connection? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and the outcome. Engagement. Ooh. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So things are actually looking pretty good for you and your person moving forward. Uh, it looks like to me that there has been some type of... Um, there are feelings... For each other at this point between the both of you the feelings are mutual here and it looks like you're both wanting to explore this and for you you feel like this could be the one like this could actually go the distance this could be um, somebody who you're meant to marry even in the future tell me about romantic feelings The devil, okay, so there's a lot of lust between the both of you guys. There's a lot of passion that you have um, for each other here. And it's like, you, um, somebody here is very, very much obsessed <laughs> with the other person. Um, because they feel such a strong connection, such a strong bond to, um, to you. Uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But it looks like that, it looks like to me, your person has a lot of fears for how they feel about you. Um, they fear that things will come to an end with the Ten of Swords. Or they fear that things are over between the both of you guys or it is coming to an end this is something that someone is fearing here and they're thinking this in secret they're not really saying it they're not speaking about it they're just keeping it on the low keeping it um between themselves here they're thinking a lot obsessively there's a lot of obsessive thoughts uh about you obsessive thoughts about um feelings here but not not really speaking about it and it's this person really does want to give to this connection um they do and but they want it to be equal and right now they're not feeling like um things are equal between the both of you guys when it comes to your emotions for each other so somebody feels like they care more about the other person um, but I don't necessarily feel like that's the case here. Tell me about healing family issues. The moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, so your person. Uh, they do have a lot of fears here. And they feel like they are not seeing things clearly. They feel like uh, somebody could. They feel like uh, you might be wearing a false mask. And it's almost like you're too good to be true. Like they're telling themselves that you're too good to be true. Or like I don't deserve Virgo. I don't deserve Virgo. Um, they do so much for me. And I just don't know like if this is something that I, I can accept. Oh, this Ten of Swords keeps coming out. So it looks like it's your person who's um, obsessively thinking about the worst case scenario and kind of weighing out the pros and cons to whether or not they should come in and offer you something because they do see you as somebody who has a lot of value and they do see something very special in you and 
they definitely see you as a prize here but the other on the other end of the spectrum they're thinking about the worst case scenario here and it can be because for some of you this person has had some family issues maybe parents were divorced um when they were a child but this is they don't it looks like your person is very jaded when it comes to relationships so they're, they don't think of it in such a positive note, but they do have a lot of feelings for you and a lot of passion and lust towards you that they're starting to consider it, um, consider giving you uh, their commitment because they do see something very special in you. Um, and they don't want to repeat the same patterns that have happened in the past relationships or in their family here this is not something that they want and they're trying to listen to their intuition here to to, to make the right choice tell me about this could be the one knight of cups so you you love this person um, you do you could have Pisces uh, cancer Scorpio somewhere in your chart or this could be your person again double emphasis on Pisces so you want to express your love to this person you want to express how you feel here um, you don't want to be you don't want to have f just like a good time with this person anymore you want some form of commitment and something stable and grounded here when it comes to this person and it looks like that you are feeling kind of like disappointed or heartbroken over a situation that had happened between you guys it could have been an ending or just something um external something that you you and this person could not control that has caused some type of disappointment and I feel like you want to express your emotions or even apologize to this person for causing some type of heartbreak or bad news but you do want to commit and offer some form of commitment here because you, you, you both see each other as something of that are, is very valuable here so I do feel like you guys are coming to each other and wanting to have this talk about what's really going on like let's just move past this these patterns and let's just work on this connection tell me about keeping an open mind me about keep an open mind we have the magician wow so that's a lot of power um this is a very powerful energy between the both of you guys here and it looks like the potential between the both of you is very strong and it can be very magical between the both of you but there's a need of somebody needing to decide what it is that they want and clearly decide what they want here and even manifest this so there is some type of outside source that is kind of bringing you guys together here to have this conversation and it looks like you both feel a hold towards each other um thinking about each other a lot and feeling like very stuck and not being able to to move on from this especially with the four of pentacles here and it feels like because there is some type of outside source with the magician a powerful energy that is kind of keeping you together and it's making it very difficult to move away from this person it's very hard to do that because of how powerful this energy is here between the both of you guys and it is because it is some type of soul connection between you guys that is um holding you together and i feel like um somebody's coming to the realizations and starting to think about this having some type of awakening about this connection here and coming to the realization that this is um this is a very deep connection so tell me about engagement 
kind of cut wow so the potential for you guys is definitely long term and committed here i feel like with your outcome engagement and ten of pentacles what i see i see you guys moving towards a higher form of commitment and potentially working on this for the long term here and it's going to be a huge change it's going to be a major transformation here with the tower and i feel like this is a good change that is going on here usually the tower is like bad but i don't feel like that here i'm feeling like this change is going to be a really good one because we have the ten of pentacles which is very stable committed grounded and secure especially with the queen of pentacles so there's a decision has been made a decision will be made if it hasn't already um and it looks like on your person side they're the ones that are needing to make a decision if they want this if they want to work towards this long-term commitment here lifetime commitment here and you do feel like this could be the one and they're making a decision it looks like they're making the decision to work towards this and be committed and this is going to be a huge transformation and breakthrough in this connection with you and your person What else is going on here with Virgo and their person? What else is going on here with Virgo and their person? We have new love, so a new beginning in love, a renewal in love for you guys. Um, feelings starting to surface between the both of you guys and, and really taking things to the next level at this point. So it looks like this is somebody fairly new in your life or if you're not dealing with anybody at all, I see somebody new coming into your life who is really going to make a decision to work towards something long term with you. And right, it looks like right now your person, like they're not that optimistic at this moment, but that will change. You feel like this is true love. So this is the love of a lifetime. The love that can go the distance. This is how you're feeling. You feel like this could be the one here. And this could be with a young male. 25 and under. Could have a sports car. I'm hearing Mercedes. And we have gossip. So I do see you guys like having this talk between um, this higher form of commitment. So some some type of conversation that you guys will have and agreement about where this is going and what you both want here. Is there anything else that we need to know about this connection with Virgo and their person? Is there anything else that we need to know we got success so it, it looks like success is assured like you're moving towards um, a victory here so that's that's really good news at the bottom of the deck we have wait so just wait for the right timing and just take things slow here at this point it's just a matter of time and a matter of patience so that's what I'm getting because it looks like your person like again like they've been through a lot in their past um, more than normal than usual people and they're really jaded when it comes to relationships so you kind of have to wait on this person here um, but I'm getting that if you do then it's it'll go your way and you'll have some type of success so that's what I'm getting for you guys if you like this reading please comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found guidance and clarity in your situation thank you for watching bye